Hey there. Just got done putting together the x-axis limit switch configuration here on my G0704 Grizzly Mini Mill. And I thought I'd shoot a quick video, show you what it looks like, and maybe throw a few dimensions in there too. So long story short, this is a pretty simple way to to build the uh, x-axis uh, limit switch mount using a piece of 2x2 two two aluminum angle channel uh, some standard hardware using these uh, limit switches that I got from eBay they work pretty well there is the part number and basically there's really only three parts. There's the 2x2 two two aluminum channel that does most of the work. Had to remake the, uh, I don't know what you would call these things, but these these uh, these are what actually trip the limit switches. The uh, stops, I guess you could call them, that came with the milling machine were much shorter, so I had to make longer ones so they could compensate for the mounting position of the limit switches. And the only other thing is there's a, a block behind these two screws that uh, is like a spacer. It puts the, uh, this angle bracket in the, the proper position. So pretty simple. I like it. I like the way it looks. Puts the switches uh, out of the way. Most of the chips and the oil that are going to hit them kind of looks semi-professional. Didn't take too long to make. And... Uh, I think it'll do the job nicely. So let me get a few uh, pictures with some dimensions and attach them to the end of this video and I hope this helps you guys uh, or anyone out there trying to come up with a limit switch configuration for your GO704 mini mill. And uh, once I'm done with this, we'll move on to the Y axis.